many believers cannot overcome lust. They keep on falling back into the same sins. We must consider ourselves dead to sin and alive to Christ. As Paul also wrote in Colossians chapter 3 verse 5, Therefore, consider the members of your earthly body as dead to immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire and greed, which amounts to idolatry. For it is on account of these things that the wrath of God will come. We must consider ourselves dead to those things, to immorality, to sin. If we are dead, we are not available. We do not even respond to those things. But we set our minds on Christ. We avoid these other things. We ignore them. Because if we continue with those things, then they will cause us to end up in hell. We must set our mind on the kingdom of God and apply ourselves to the kingdom of God, to being pleasing to Jesus. If you keep on feeding the lust, then it will grow. Then it will stay alive. But if you stop feeding it, if you starve it to death, if you ignore it, then it will die. You must feed your mind on Jesus Christ. Get a new interest. Get an interest in the kingdom of God, in Jesus Christ. Start praying and seeking Jesus. Don't pray to be delivered from your vice, but pray to get closer to Jesus. Put your mind on Christ. And these other things will fall away. If you keep on feeding your mind on the lust of the flesh, then it will grow. Feed your mind on Christ. Ignore the flesh and you will live. May Jesus bless you.